Today we're diving into DeepSeek OCR, a model that is redefining what OCR even means. But here's the twist. This isn't just about recognizing text from images. DeepSeek OCR is actually exploring something much bigger. Optical context compression, or in simpler terms, how to visually compress huge amounts of text into a handful of image tokens that an LLM can understand quickly. It's one of the smartest ideas we've seen yet for solving the long context problem that every major AI model struggles with. So let's break down what it is, how it works, and why it could completely change the way LLMs handle memory and documents. Every large language model, GPT, Claude, Gemini, faces one core limitation, context length. The context length or context window is basically how much a text a model can see or remember at once. It includes your prompt, the model's own response, and everything else in the conversation history, all measured in tokens, which are small chunks of text like words or parts of words. So what happens when you go beyond that limit? The model starts to forget. It either truncates old information, cutting it off completely, or summarize it into a shorter version, which often means losing nuances and details. And that's a huge problem for any long form or multi-turn task. Imagine trying to summarize a full research paper, read a legal contract, or have 200 message conversations. If your model can't remember the first half, coherence breaks down. That's why having a larger context window matters so much nowadays. It improves coherence because the model can recall earlier details, it improves accuracy because it can verify facts across longer text, and it opens up new use cases, analyzing full books, coding across multiple files, or running intelligent AI agents that truly understand long-running tasks. But there's a trade-off. Longer context means higher compute costs slower latency, and sometimes the model loses focus because it's juggling too much information. And that's exactly the bottleneck DeepSeek is trying to fix, not just by making the context window bigger, but by compressing it smarter. Instead of feeding models massive amounts of text, DeepSeek OCR turns that text into compact visual tokens, so the model can retain the same information, but at a fraction of the cost and memory. So what is DeepSeq OCR? DeepSeq OCR is a vision language model made up of two parts, a new encoder called Deep Encoder and a mixture of experts decoder called DeepSeq 3B MOE A570M. The encoder converts an entire document into a compact set of vision tokens. Then the decoder reconstructs the text effectively reading the document but from a compressed visual representation. Now here's the wild part, DeepSeek achieves 97% OCR accuracy even when the visual tokens are 10 times fewer than the number of text tokens, and at 20% compression, it still maintains around 60% accuracy, proving that you can massively shrink information while still decoding it with meaningful precision. So how does DeepSeek pull this off? The secret is in the deep encoder. Their custom vision encoder built specifically for high resolution documents. It combines three major components. SAM, segment anything model for perception, basically understanding fine local details. CLIP large for global semantic knowledge, the broader layout and meaning, and a 16 times token compressor, which reduces the number of visual tokens by a factor of 16 before sending them off to a decoder. Think of it like this, instead of passing every tiny visual patch into the model, Deep Encoder smartly downsamples compressing a 1024 by 1024 document into just 256 vision tokens while keeping its structure intact. This design allows the model to support multiple modes, tiny, small, base, large, and even Gundam mode for ultra high resolution images like newspapers or PDFs. It's flexible enough to process documents with anywhere from 64 to 800 vision tokens, trading off accuracy and speed depending on the task. To understand it in a much simpler way, think of it like this. The process starts with an input, which is usually a PDF. Then that PDF is broken down into 16 by 16 patches, as you can see here. 
then it's processed through SAM to understand, you know, the local small details like what language is being used and everything like that. And then it's further downsampled. Then the vision tokens are put into Clip, which does more of the global semantic knowledge, the broader layout and meaning. Then it's decoded and then the user is given the output. So you can see, you can pack a bunch of information into the input, break it down and pass it through. Obviously, the more information you put in, you're trading off between accuracy and speed. And you want to make sure that the resolution of the image is obviously clear because the more noise you introduce into the model, the more accuracy default you're going to get. Like true DeepSeek fashion, DeepSeek also revealed how it trained the model. It trained the model on a massive data set that goes far beyond traditional OCR. 30 million PDFs across 100 plus languages, 10 million scene images labeled with Paddle OCR, 10 million charts created from Matplotlib and PyE charts, 5 million chemical structures converted from Smiles data, and 1 million geometry images generated synthetically. So this isn't just about text, it's about structured understanding, tables, charts, formulas, and diagrams. DeepSeek even calls this OCR 2.0 because it can parse a chart into an HTML table or translate a chemical image into molecular code. Okay, let's talk numbers because this is where it gets really impressive. On the OmniDoc bench, benchmark, DeepSeek OCR outperforms models like GOT OCR 2.0, Small Docling, and even Minor U 2.0 while using fewer than 800 vision tokens per page. For example, GOT OCR 2.0 needs around 256 tokens per page. Minor U 2.0 uses over 6,000 tokens. DeepSeek OCR beats both using fewer than 100 to 400 tokens and achieving state-of-the-art accuracy. Even crazier, with 10 times the compression, it achieves around 97% decoding accuracy and at 20 times compression, still hovers around 60%. That's like summarizing 10 pages into one image and still being able to reconstruct most of it correctly. This kind of efficiency could fundamentally reshape how we think about context length in LLMs because it means that instead of feeding 100,000 tokens of text, we could feed a few hundred vision tokens representing the same content. All these numbers and benchmarks are impressive, but the real story isn't just about accuracy. It's about what this means for the future of memory and intelligence in AI. DeepSeek OCR isn't just a better text reader, it's a glimpse into how AI could handle memory in the future. Every major model today, GPT, Claude, Gemini, still struggle with long context. DeepSeek flips the problem on its head by compressing information instead of expanding memory. It turns pages of text into compact visual tokens that an LLM can store and recall far more efficiently. The DeepSeek team even compares this to human memory, where recent memories stay sharp and older ones gradually fade. By resizing or compressing context over time, models could keep the essence of past information without carrying the full weight. That means agents that can remember longer conversations, read entire books, or process multimodal documents without massive compute costs. And the best part, DeepSeek already does this in practice, processing hundreds of thousands of pages per day on a single GPU completely open source. So instead of making models remember more, DeepSeek shows how to make them remember smarter, a small but brilliant shift and maybe the first step towards AI that truly thinks like us. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit like, subscribe, and stay tuned because the next era of AI isn't just about thinking, it's about seeing. And as always, keep exploring the universe of AI.